Walmart stores are often targeted by shoplifters because they're huge, but it's a bad idea to shoplift there. You're most likely to be caught and arrested because Walmart has a strict policy against shoplifters. They usually report shoplifters to the police and press charges against them. Yes, even if a shoplifter is able to leave Walmart with stolen goods, the police will come and find him or her. Shoplifting is the act of stealing items from a store while pretending to be a customer. It is theft, moving an item, altering price tags, concealing items, and transferring items are all examples of shoplifting. If you're caught shoplifting from Walmart, a loss prevention agent approaches you after you leave the store and tries to convince you to drop the item. However, the agent cannot lay hands on you, nor can they search you for items. They will never chase you in case you run, but they will call the police to report you. If you drop the item and the stolen item is worth less than $25, then you're let go with a warning. But if the stolen item is worth more than $25, then your case is reported to the police. Walmart can ban you for 24 hours or life if you're caught shoplifting. You'll have to face far worse consequences if you disobey the ban and yet again get caught shoplifting. Walmart is equipped with advanced tech which they use to catch shoplifters. They make use of spider wrap, extensive CCTV and the EAS system to catch shoplifters. If you have a shoplifting case, you should hire a shoplifting lawyer to settle it. You might have to hire an experienced defense attorney to fight your case so that he can help you by negotiating a plea with the prosecutor. Your lawyer can defend you in court and even help you in challenging the charges against you. Shoplifting is theft and often shoplifters have to face dire consequences. If you're caught stealing, you can be imprisoned for more than 10 years, fined heavily and made to do community service. Legal punishment depends on the value of the stolen item. Hence, it will be in your best interest to hire a skilled and experienced defense attorney. A defense attorney that has previously dealt with cases of Walmart shoplifting will be able to craft a defense strategy to achieve the best possible result with your case. Hello, I'm Carl Barkmeyer. I defend clients with shoplifting charges in Louisiana. If you're watching this video, it may be because you've received a summons for shoplifting. The first thing I want to say is that with my help, you will get through this. Your criminal record may be able to get cleaned up after getting a shoplifting charge on it if your case is handled correctly. Shoplifting falls under the crime of theft in Louisiana. There is no formal charge called shoplifting in Louisiana. Therefore, your summons will likely say theft on it. Theft is the misappropriation or taking of anything of value which belongs to another either without the consent of the other to the misappropriation or taking or by means of fraudulent conduct, practices, or representations. An intent to deprive the other permanently of whatever may be the subject of the misappropriation or taking is essential. Some of the situations that occur which may support intent to deprive is when the defendant changes a price tag, conceals items within another item or purse, or simply by not scanning the item in the self-checkout. The penalties at the time of this video vary. Theft can either be a felony or misdemeanor depending on the alleged amount of the stolen items. If the items amount to less than a value of $1,000, the offender shall be imprisoned for not more than six months or may be fined not more than $1,000 or both. So this is a misdemeanor charge. If the amount of goods is $1,000 or more, it becomes a felony. There are ways to defend and mitigate these charges. Even if you feel like you don't have a good case to defend, I can still help by either finding a good defense or working a deal with the prosecutor. Our goal will be to protect your criminal record, to minimize any negative impact it may have for the rest of your life. So give me a call. I'd be happy to help.